take three. No. Hi, welcome to One Five One Garage. I'm Jill. I'm Sean. And in today's video, we're going to discuss the Ford Heritage Edition of the new Bronco. So if you guys don't know, a little while ago, they came out with the announcement of doing a Heritage Edition. In fact, they had wrapped versions all over it, uh, all over the place. They do, however, have two unwrapped versions. They have a red four-door, and I'll put the pictures up in front of us, a red four-door and a, I believe it's a cactus gray or a similar color two-door version, both hard tops. And I don't know. I, I want to know everybody's opinion on how they like it. Uh, our opinion, we'll tell our opinion in a second, and we'll, we'll kind of give you what we think about it and what we're hoping they would have in addition to the pictures that we see. But for you guys, is it too much? Is it too little? Do you, do you wish there was more? Uh, what, obviously these are just two versions of many different versions of it. What would you like to see the Heritage Edition have? Whether it be graphics or a different color paint job or a different color roof or such. Or more true to the first generation. Yeah, uh, I do have to say though, at first I wasn't impressed. And I'm still kind of on the fence with some of the things, but I there are some key points I really do like. I like the fact that it has the square-ish fenders, uh, the fender openings instead of the rounds like the ones that we currently have. I think that brings back the nostalgia the nostalgia the heritage style now obviously these are the same fenders off the everglades edition obviously it looks just like an everglades if you're not paying attention with no snorkel so a snorkel is everglades is what it looks like there are some key differences though one of which i really like the rims if you guys don't know the rims on the original bronco the gen 1 bronco were like white steelies or something the ones that they have now that are on the heritage edition are modern interpretation of those white steelies uh obviously the ones that are on the car now are not white uh, i think they're like dark gray or something like that like yeah, gunmetal or something like black or something yeah they're they're a dark color yeah but they still show the same four slots that were reminiscent of the older version bronco they do also have the uh ford grill I, <sighs> I think they could have done better with the Ford grill. I like the red letters that brings back the original red letters on the Ford. And I'll link the original one and the new one up here. I'll kind of get them uh, above and below. I like the original one. The new one, I don't like the weird opening behind it because it's like someone cut the grill out and then kind of stuck the letters on something that is kind of behind it. I think they could have done better. I would rather see them do a full piece all the way across with the red Ford letters on it. Uh, now, as far as color, I'm hoping they come out with more of a heritage color, like the old original colors. They have a way to find out what their favorite, what customers' favorite colors were, bring that color, maybe tweak it to the modern age rather than just the same old color, maybe put a little bit of flake in it, maybe put pearl or put something in it. But I would like to see some of the old, old version of the color that they actually, some of their favorite colors. Uh, I think that would be a good option because red doesn't really <laughs> scream heritage to me. I, I, you know, a lot of people might seem red, keep that on there, but I hope they bring some of the, like the, blue, the light blue, or the greenish colors uh, from the old days. When he gets done, I'll give you my two cents on it. Um, <laughs> as far as the roof, the roof is painted, I believe, 
both of them are painted black. So it's the modular hardtop, from what I believe, uh, painted black, uh, which are gonna come available, I think, I apologize if I'm incorrect, from when we bought ours, uh, I think the modular hardtops paintable were supposed to come out around the 2023, which would be when this Bronco would be available. Um, I'm hoping they have something other than black. I really like the white heritage edition style with the white roof, the white rims, little white graphics, something simple, not over the over the top. And you know, the white accessories, uh, like the little hood uh, trail sights and stuff like that. I like that. I'll show a version of the original Bronco, the original 2021 Bronco with the heritage, like the heritage style with all the white. I really think that oh, looked yeah. cool. It, it was in cactus gray too. So it was her color with white roof, uh, white trail sights, white rims. I think that's it. Um, but I like that style. So as far as being two door and four door, I know a lot of people are gonna say the original Bronco was two door, so they need to only make it available. And I've already heard this, they only need to make it available in two door. No offense, if you're only looking to make two doors, you're not gonna have a Heritage Edition Bronco because nobody's gonna buy it as much as a four door. As realistic as it is, that might be the Heritage style, but if they only have available for two-door Heritage Broncos, you're not gonna sell that many, and they will never make that. Just like the two-door Broncos, everybody says that should be two-door, no four-doors available, you would not have a Bronco today because more Broncos are Look sold- what happened to Jeep. <laughs> worth four-door than two-door. Uh, and like she was saying, uh, the Jeep, when the four-door Jeep came out, I thought it looked really ridiculous. I thought it looked silly. I thought it was just Massive. the weirdest thing. It would have now, been famous. Now, it's totally opposite. I'm so used to the four-door Jeeps. When I see a two-door, all I think is Suzuki Samurai. That's it. I'm like, oh, oh no, that's a Jeep. Sorry, my bad. Because it's so small compared to the four-door Jeep. It looks so, so tiny. Um, it just looks unstable. Uh, <laughs> 40 miles an hour, taking a quarter. Yeah, but I, I really, I really like it. I think there needs to be more, and I'm hoping when the, uh, when it comes out, you can option a lot of different things. Ford's not stupid. Ford knows what people want, whether you think that or not. They're selling, selling these things faster than they can actually make them. So for all the people who say Ford's stupid for doing this, obviously you're the only one or you're the very few because you're still gonna buy it. And as well as everybody else, they're all gonna buy this vehicle because everybody wants the new Bronco. Uh, Heritage Edition, I think there needs to be more to it because what's gonna happen is you are going to have the um, dealers marking up those Heritage Edition Broncos considerably because it says Heritage, just like the Raptor or the Everglades or any other. Well, all it's got to say is Bronco to throw ten thousand dollars on it. I mean, that seems like the norm or twenty for some places, <laughs> but it's it's something that you're going to have to look at. If you're gonna pay that much money for, which most people, a lot of people aren't, but there are a lot of people that are gonna do that. They wanna make sure that they get something different than anybody else can get. Yeah, you know, like everybody in their Mustang. That's why we don't have one. <laughs> yeah, unless you get the GT350 or the GT500. I get that. <laughs> I, I get that in a heartbeat. Those, those are badass Mustangs. I just. Um, now, as far as the, the fenders, I do have to say one thing with the fenders. I think that's going to be the new soon, if not 2024, the next iteration of the Bronco. I think the the squared the squared ish fenders 
are going to be the new adaption to the Bronco because now they have the Everglades, they have the uh, Heritage. Obviously, the Raptor has the same squarish. They're gigantic, but they're squarish. Um, the only things are the regular Broncos. All they're going to do is move those square fenders to everything else, which a lot of people will like. I'm sure I like them. Uh, I wasn't. I was kind of on the fence at the beginning, but I do like them. Would I want them on my vehicle now? Eh, we'll see later on. Uh, I'm not going to switch out the vehicle or switch all the fenders just for that, but. My, it's doable if you want my, it now. <laughs> my truck will be have the square fenders on it actually because mine's getting redone. That's so. one thing about the, the Bronco I do like. It's like freaking Legos. You can take everything off. Get off. Put a different one on. If you don't like that, change it to something else. Yeah. So. <laughs> Completely modular. So what's your thoughts of it? <laughs> I see you have the toy. Yes, I have a toy that I'm clutching with my dear life. Um, before I show you the toy, because you probably see it in the background, but earlier. Um, the red Bronco Heritage that he showed me on the computer. I hated it. <laughs> I'm going to be brutal. Why, why do you hate it? Because it's not a Heritage color. It's not a Heritage Well, it's a color. It. I'm looking at all the other stuff. That's what it looks like. This. Or here. That's what it looks like. That's exactly what it looks like. Mine is the wild track. So, this is what I think of when I think of heritage. You have the white roof, the squared off fenders, like he was saying. It doesn't have a white grill though, but I really well, do like the white grill. this one has the silver grill, but this also isn't the first generation. This is like second or something. But, um, well, that's the first generation. Oh, no, is it? Yeah. But anyway, um, the white grill. I don't like the lettering like he said in the front. I think they really kind of missed it. It gets lost. The word Ford gets lost in the background. You barely even see it. Yeah. Um, I so like the red because it actually shows the older versions well, of red. The but font is fine as far as the red coloring on that. But make it where you can see it. Don't hide it behind a whole bunch of black because it just kind of disappears. Yeah. Um, when we were at Moab, they had the hoods on each side of the hallway at the Bronco Off Rodeo. And in between the hoods, they had the color charts of what those Broncos came in. Do those colors. Give an option for those yeah. colors. Have, even, don't even add flake or anything. If they want an original color, bring it back. Like some of the few favorites. I absolutely love the Caribbean one, but hey. <laughs> Yeah. But it just didn't scream heritage at all mm. to me. Some of the characteristics did. The color, absolutely not. Um, that was a complete miss for the color. I wish they would have showed a hint of a different color. I think they had one that was kind of unwrapped and it showed like a old blue color. But I'm sure but. that one was just... Here we're gonna give you a, tr a teaser, but it's probably not exactly what's gonna come out. So it's just yeah. Here we're just gonna show you just something to shut you up for a little bit while we're working over here on the sidelines. <laughs> and all we all we have is the pictures. It's just two pictures. I think it's multiple uh, multiple pictures of the red one, and then maybe two of the green uh, the. The, the grayish one, the cactus yeah. grayish one. No. Uh, and that's all we got to go to. Other than that, there's nothing else that says anything about what it is. Ford hasn't come out with any kind of specs or anything. As you know, Let me state this. As of when this video is shot, there's nothing else. I'm sure in a week they're going to come out with something and somebody's going to go, yeah, there's information all over the place. I'm talking when this video is shot, yeah. there's nothing about it other than those teaser pictures that we show you at the beginning and at yeah. the end so so one that was closest to the heritage that we saw that wasn't heritage was the cactus gray one that he was talking about with the the white rails when you take off your roof to the, um, that was the at the that was the 2021 version it was basically your vehicle that yeah, was modified roof by on Ford. It. but yeah. i want to do my bronco that way <laughs> <laughs> I still want to do my Badlands that way. <laughs> well, we may it, do that. 
We do have some ideas for her Bronco. Uh, I think we're going to go more of a heritage style uh, Bronco rather than uh, modified like we're trying. So we do good. really like, with, with a twist, we're not going to copy what everybody else does. There are some things we want to do that we'll have to uh, look into to see if we can get it done. Um, but yeah, we do want to do a heritage style for hers because hers is more of a heritage color than any of the other ones. Um, yeah, I mean, it's close close enough to the heritage colors and that's part of the reason why i chose the cactus gray because if you do white anything on it it's gonna look good um, look good. for those of you that just don't know all the grills and all the broncos they are paintable so you can get to sprayed whatever color you want and um, just let you know on that one as well as the letters is also paintable yeah and the there's a roof that's coming out later it's not out yet and it's not by ford it's by advanced fiberglass concepts they do have a style roof that's a one-piece roof we're never going to take the roof off of her car very often no. uh and it's if we ever take it off no. i don't know why we would ever take it off because no. we don't it's going to have a giant roof rack on it and so a that tank, everything like the that. the roof on so. that so just kind of give you an idea of what we kind of got somewhat planned out it's not ironed out perfectly yet i want to take the roof that's on my badlands the unicorn off of that put it on our diamond and then take diamond and just set it aside yeah and then get the roof that we want to paint white to match the grill for on. hers yeah. so, so we're gonna and then we've come up we've designed some graphics we just need to talk to somebody about getting it uh, getting it cut or cut it ourselves and try to get that done now because that'll be in the future uh if we're gonna mess around with it That's and try to way play down around, the road though play but. around with it and see if we like it but you know yeah and these ideas are not cheap that we're coming up with no they're not they're expensive <laughs> now that you're expensive you're high maintenance well even this has like the silver wheels but i do like the white on the heritage i just are you gonna get white wheels i don't know yet. with the bead lockers i don't know yet because i have be lock capable wheels on it now i don't know if i should just get the beauty rings that are able to be painted and do it to body color that'd be kind of cool why don't you leave oh, the why don't what you about leave this white wheels with cactus gray beauty rings or bead locker rings Yo, drop a comment down yeah, below. Yeah, drop a comment about that. Uh, I'm leaning more towards the regular silver with the white white in the center. I think that would actually look better than cactus gray on the wheels. Unless you do cactus gray center and then white on the outside, but I don't know. Let's, we'll have to think some. Drop a comment down below which, yeah. which you think would be good. <laughs> um, Hit us on Instagram too. I don't care. Yeah. Just let us know. Well, you know, I hope you guys like this. Uh, please leave a comment on what you like, uh, what you think the Heritage Edition should be, uh, what they should offer, and you know, leave a comment down below. I, we're we're actually curious of what a lot of people want to see. We you can even DM us on Instagram with what you know, like, hey, I like this heritage, and I wish Ford would do this. That's also yeah. an option. And we'll show some. We'll show at the end of this a couple different versions of the heritage that we see online that we really like. Uh, maybe something like that. But, anyways, leave a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and check out our website. We got merch. We're wearing it. Yep. And uh, plenty of it. Yeah. Link down we'll below. We'll have more designs coming up. We just want to see how the ones that we have up right now do. Um, we'll probably switch them out every few months. But yeah, just we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye. Bye.